Thanks for joining us and let's get started. Welcome to our intermediate series on secrets of success, rich and happy. This episode, we'll talk about the power of discipline and commitment. We'll address making discipline the foundation of your transformation journey, commitment as an act of self-love and celebrating your progress through every small step. As usual, we'll introduce you to your personal challenge, which is designed to get you in the habit of practicing things that are healthy for the new you. Ready? Awesome, let's get started. With that, we invite you to get settled in a place where you can digest this information without interruption or struggle, clear your mind, and get ready to take the next step in a vital transformation. Let's start with a brief moment of silence to focus and meditate on what you're about to learn, receive, and practice. Hi, and welcome again uh, to our Secret of Success. In this session, we're going to talk about commitment and discipline. One of the two words that actually get me excited, discipline and commitment. I believe, and with my life experience and work with so many people in my life, without discipline and commitment, you don't get to see the result that you meant to see. Think about it. A lot of us are doing the right thing, but we quit in the middle. When you quit in the middle, you don't gonna have a chance to see the fruit of your work. We're not quitting here. When you are in the middle of something and you feel, let's say you work on your relationship based on what I taught you. You work on your relationship and you try to give all your power to fix your relationship. And it seemed like you're doing the right thing, but something make you upset and reactive and you're not happy. If you quit at that point and you think that by you, go ahead and change to another relationship, you're gonna exactly start where you left off. There's no such a thing as as skipping. You're not skipping thing. Doing something right is doing it all the way. You gotta be disciplined, you gotta be committed. The best people to look up to, not from a spiritual point of view, but from a point of what it means not to quit, is people who are athletes, people who are into sport. If you ever watch those people who go to, to, to run the Olympic, you know, sometimes you see people like, keep, eh, that's okay. You ever see the person who make it, the winner? He's never tired. He run faster than the people behind, she or he. The people who come number eight or number nine, whatever they have there, you know, when they arrive, they arrive miserable, they arrive tired, they're not happy. What's the difference? Well, they run the same. Well, you're gonna say ability. I'm telling you a secret right now. They all have the same ability. They all have the same ability. They just, the mind, you heard about that thing? That machine, we call it the mind. So that mind has some demon, big demon inside your mind. who telling you, quit right now, quit right now. It's time to quit. And that's why I heard from one of my friends who say, never fall backward. If you decide to fall, fall forward, meaning what? Meaning if you're doing something, just go for it like you're gonna make it. Don't go for it like maybe I'm gonna make it. I want to see your body language. I want to see your soul. I want to see your expression, your voice, everything about that you're going forward. You're about to make it. If you didn't make it, different story. Next time you're going to make it because energy never disappears. And we repeat it. Energy never disappears. Whatever you invest into something, never going to go away. You put energy into something, it will come back to you. I will tell you now a personal story, which I have a thousand of them. I remember in the beginning of my spiritual journey, I was helping a gentleman. And I was helping a gentleman while everybody is helping the rich and famous. I was very young. I was working with that person. Eh, nobody want to work with, you know, every famous mentor, famous speaker, one, the rich and famous. And hear me working with that guy who have a little problem, pay the bills and this and that, you know, but you know, you gotta do good. I have to practice my spirituality. So I keep going up, keep giving up, keep doing. And this person's life unfortunately gets worse. I say, is there something wrong with me? Something wrong with him? I wanna quit. 
because I want to make a living. I want to make it right. I want to make things big for myself, right? And if you want to put a big shot, let me tell you how things turn around. That person crash, everything starts to go wrong in their life, fall into addiction, the worst of the worst of the worst. That person make a turn. And all those 18 years, guys, 18 years, that gentleman don't stop calling me. He moved to a different state, different country, away from the United States. In the end, he came back to LA. Knock on my door, give me a hug, and say, thank you for not giving up on me. And I told him, thank you for not giving up on me. And I started helping him, I started helping his family. He arranged that I will have a radio series, a radio series with people I don't even know. So you tell me, my friend, when you put energy, is it 18 years later waiting for you? Absolutely. Whatever you put there is coming back to you. But I don't want you to quit on nothing right that you are doing. If you're doing something good, you keep doing it. You're not going backward. You keep pushing. It's good things. Good things never disappear. Energy never disappears. You plant the seed, the food might come later. Those of you who work as a farmer, you know that when you plant the seed, you don't see results right away. Sometimes you never see results. You know, you have to plant the seed and the tree will come. Sometimes three years later, you're going to have the fruit. It takes some time. Have some patience. Have some belief and trust in yourself. Have some discipline. Have some always consistency. Keep going, keep pushing, because the result eventually will come. Now, when we talk about commitment, it's commitment has to do with me. In the end of the day, if you do well, everybody around you will do well. So where is the self-love within commitment? Are you love yourself when you're committed? Is commitment is only when you're doing something for other people? Or there is a commitment when you do it for you? Well, if you're going back to my story, when I helped that gentleman for 18 years, and I didn't see any result for 18 years, does that mean I'm doing it for him, I'm doing it for me? Well, think about it, what I overcome. I overcome patient. I overcome the concept of being waiting for result right away. You know, before I met him, I was super impatient. He helped me to be more patient because the higher intelligence sent me a case where I have to deal with a person who is going to help me with my no patient at all. So the people that you're going to meet when you work on your discipline and commitment are actually coming also to help you. When you help another person, you are growing. When you are, and and I, I, I have to share that right now. You know, I had a teacher, I even remember his name when I was uh, six, uh, 15. His name is David. That's his name, David. He was my math teacher. And I didn't do well in high school because in elementary school I was number one. And as I move, my parents believed that I'm genius, which the school told them I'm genius. So I moved to a high school of genius only. But when you are among genius, you got a problem. You're no longer genius. So I stayed behind. So I said, Listen, I'm not sure I want to be in a genius school. I want, I want to be among people. And my parents push. You got to be genius. You, they say you're genius. You continue. I'm arriving 10th grade, and I'm embarrassed to say everybody around me, oh, unbelievable. And I'm not getting it. It was a teacher named David. He was looking at me, and he showed me an example. He said, come here, Leo. I said, yes, teacher. He said to me, what's going on? You seem smart, but you're not getting it. I said, teacher, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm embarrassed to say I don't have the foundation. Nobody ever teach me the foundation of that thing. I, I was good in school, but I never studied that. So why don't you tell me? I said, I, I was embarrassed to ask everybody around me. He took me under his wings for 30 days. He teach me all of that. And then he used me as an example. Our students come from, from the back and get under it in the test every time. What am I trying to show you with that? It's not about me being smart. It's about that teacher. That teacher named David, Ben David, that's his name, who changed my entire life about how to look at situation. Don't give up on you. Don't give up on people you love and keep doing it. And that's how it connects to self-loving yourself. Because if you give up on yourself, you're not going to make it. I'm telling you again, there's enough demon in our head that will make us quit. Be stronger than your demon. You want to win that game? You want to win that concept that called life and make sure that you will be rich and happy? Make sure you overcome those little demon in your head and making sure you tell them, hey, listen, I know what you're telling me. Quit, quit, quit. Go back to the couch. 
watch your Netflix show, eat your potato chips and die. I'm not letting you do it again to me. I'm achieving my goal. That's how you start helping yourself. So if this talk, what I just shared with you, help you, good. Then I'll ask you to listen to it three times. Three times a day until you see yourself never quit. A lot of time, you are creating a, a great progress in your life. You're doing really great. Whatever it is to lose weight, making more money, uh, uh, forgive people, removing the jealousy issue, you're no longer ang angry with people. It's unbelievable. That's a great achievement. Do you know it's a great achievement? And if you are, are you celebrating it? Celebrate great achievement. I know that I told you to build a big desire. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But it doesn't mean that just because you build a great desire, you are stop celebrating. Celebrating each moment, celebrate each game. So in the end, whatever you want to call it, Super Bowl or final, then in the end, you're going to celebrate again and then you restart from beginning. If you're not celebrating, you're not going to have enough motivation. You're not going to have enough power to continue. You have to celebrate every achievement. So when you commit to something and you made it, yes. Then what we do, we celebrate and tell people, I did it, I did it, I did it. And then keep on, keep going to the next thing. Don't stop, but at the same time, you got to celebrate. My person, personally, how I celebrate, I put a song that I like. And I put a song that I like and I start dancing. If you're not into dancing and you're shy, do it, close the door and do it behind closed door. And put the music, if you can put it loud without disturbing the neighbor and start dancing. You want to do it while you take a shower, I know it sounds weird, you can do it then too. I do it, you know, you go. You want to do it in another way that I'm doing it, I'm taking a, a hike, I go somewhere in Malibu, I take a hike and I scream to the universe, thank you universe! And then I talk to myself, Eliyahu, you did great! Or another way, I look in the mirror and say, Eliyahu, ah, great job, man! You did it! Unbelievable! Don't forget to say your name. Don't forget to look in the mirror and say, you, you, you got something going on there. And keep yourself motivated, keep yourself going. Put the music like, dance as you wish. And then if you are brave enough, get more people around you. Get more people and tell them, guys, I'm so happy. I have a happy day today. I accomplished something. Now it's such an easy way to do it. You have Instagram, you have Facebook, you have so many other things in the media that you could actually write it down or put a video live and say, today I achieved a great goal and I'm so happy and I want to share it with you. That is a little bit unhealthy thing about celebration. I'm not saying it's bad, but sometimes when we celebrate, we forget the next dream and the next commitment. A lot of time I meet people that they have, let's say, 10 goals, and in the third goal, they celebrate a lot. That they actually forget about the fourth one, and the fifth, and the sixth, and the seventh, and nothing has been done. And a lot of time from the fourth goal, they're going back to the beginning, to zero. Why it happened? Because while you celebrate, you feel satiated. You feel fulfilled. Celebrate as you achieve the 10 goal, but the next morning, we got things to do, we gotta get going. Don't run on fulfillment all the time. There is time for fulfillment, there is time for desire. You gotta mix two of those energy all the time. Rich and happy. Remember, rich and happy. What is rich? Fulfilling, right? What is happy? Ful you're fulfilled. This is great. Both of them. But what happened after you're as rich as you can become, you are happy as you can become. Unfortunately, life is a roller coaster. You know, you are rich and happy, and then the next thing, you are miserable and poor. Think about it, okay? So celebrate in a healthy way, but remember, tomorrow is another day. I would like to challenge you on this session, and this challenge will be a little bit different. If you remember the meditation I shared with you before, with the colors, from up and down, from below to above, I want you to start to commit to do it on a daily basis. And before you're doing it, I would like you to quiet your mind, to quiet your body by breathing, okay? Inhale and exhale as slow as you can, at least 10 times. And after you do that 10 times, then start the meditation. Once you do that on a daily basis, that should be your discipline. You don't start the day without it. Are you ready to commit for that? Great. So then we know that rich and happy are not out of reach. It's coming your way. Thank you. This has been a 
another episode of Vital Transformation's Guided Sessions. For more information, visit us at vitaltransformation.org where you'll find access to all of our guided sessions, content library, weekly updates, and upcoming events. To keep content like this new, relevant, and free to the public, make a donation today at vitaltransformation.org slash donate or write to us at donate at vitaltransformation.org. Thanks for joining us and we'll speak to you soon.